Alrighty, I'm gonna do a quick video, um, show a little trick I learned. Uh, so this is my Epiphone Goth Flying V. Um, I was gonna put Gibson pickups in here, which I still might talk myself into it, um, but for now I'm gonna actually use the AMGs. Um, these are coal splittable. Um, so these actually have the really wide um, connectors for them. But the thing about those are is with any kind of wiring, you gotta feed it through the channel. Now, most um, strats and pit carded uh, guitars like that usually have a channel. Um, this one just has a drill access hole that they drilled through the neck before they put the neck pocket in. Uh, so the trick you can do, I have two of these. Um, so I've actually, I'm not afraid to forget which is which. Uh, so the easiest thing is gonna be, since this is the pickup side, um, to take off the connectors. Cause I had it in mock up. Now, Fitting all these through here is nearly impossible. Um, so with EMG pickups, if you notice these little silver tangs, if you take a small screwdriver, and just push these down, that comes straight off. So making the wires that much easier to push through. The only thing, like I said, you need to do is if you do not have an extra one to kind of remember where they went, is to take a picture first or a video to remember which color wires went in which side of the connector so you don't flip them backwards. I mean, worst case scenario, you just you flip the connector backwards and that's fine. Um, but once you get it like this, this is also another way. Um, I usually take the cable with a little bit of packing tape I've tried it with uh, like painter's tape and sometimes that doesn't exactly work out the way I want it to. And tape some of these wires down. There we go. And then try feeding it through that way. For the second one. The power wire, which this one I might actually have to extend because this is a very short little cord here for some reason. This part can actually get a little bit annoying where you actually have to wiggle the wire back and forth because a lot of these holes actually weren't drilled very smooth. All right, so there you go. So this one's ready to be hooked up to the pickup and that's gonna be actually a pretty good length. Uh, just underestimated it. Uh, but basically what you do literally, like I showed you, just on reverse order, untape it. Try to remember, like I said, reference a picture or anything like that to put these back where they go. I'm gonna wait until I get the other one fed through anyway, but yeah, that's how you, you do this the easy way. And then you can hook up your EMG electronics uh, with whatever pots you're using. Like I said, this is cool splittable. So these will actually let me make both of my pickups um, cool splittable after I hook it up to a tone. Other than that, uh, gonna be a few more videos following up showing you some more tricks that I've learned along the way.